You want some food? Lummy? Come on. Lummy? You don't want any food? You little squidge. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm gonna do my absolute best to not touch my hair to within an inch of its life in this video, but um, I probably, I don't know whether it's just me, but if I'm having a day and I'm looking in the viewfinder and my hair isn't looking its normal self, I'm just constantly playing with it. So it's, I don't do it on purpose. It is not a personal attack on you guys. It is just because when you're constantly looking at yourself, which, a lot of the time I am because I'm right there in the viewfinder and I'm not looking my normal self it's just you're sort of like oh um where am where am I who is this with flat hair so sorry about that although I have just touched my hair a million times so great start Lydia today I am actually I've got an amazing week I am at home all week which is if I if it was a perfect world that would be how it is three weeks of the month and then maybe one week where I go somewhere. It's not really been working out like that recently, but it all is good, all is good. What do I have to do today? I have to film a sit down video. Um, I have to sort my diary out. I have to make some online orders for um, some campaigns that I have coming up. And, oh, and then I'm picking my sister up from school. So I'm driving about half an hour from where I live to go and pick her up from school. If you don't know, my sister is 14, 14, and she's still at school. So I've always said to her that I'll come and pick her up from school, but obviously I've got so much work on all the time that I can't always make that happen. But today it's happening. I've got a whole week at home, so I've got no excuse. So I'm filming a fashion video today. So that will be up on my channel soon, if not already. Um, sometimes I kind of play my schedule by ear. I know, I often feel that there's like a pressure to have my videos scheduled and planned, but sometimes I find that I work better quite impulsively. And if videos get too old, I just, I just lose interest in them. So yeah, I'm going to film some videos, but I don't know when they'll go out, so. <laughs> I started vlogging today because I'm in a fabulous mood and I love my outfit and I wanted to show you my outfit and I wanted to let you know that you're going to have to expect a lot more from this designer in my wardrobe because I've just ordered a load more stuff from there. So, yeah. But it's also a good opportunity for, you, for me to show you a couple of things that I've been buying. So, yeah, all is good. Ali is getting ready to film his first IGTV styling video oh there's me in the mirror hi guys hi guys um i was just coming up to show you my outfit but he managed to collar me to help him set up so yes have you collared me already oh yeah i've just watched your vlog haven't i yeah you'll like that vlog it's from pancake day it's quite funny you should go over and watch it i'll link it in the description box down below <laughs> uh i don't know either babe i don't know your schedule <laughs> me either i was just talking about that um, anyway, into my dressing room, which is nice and tidy at the moment. I've also added some cushions in. But this is the outfit that I wanted to show you. This got a lot of love on my Instagram stories. These are there for a video that I'm filming. Um, this is a Max Mara top and trousers. And quite honestly, I am obsessed. And the funniest thing is, is I wasn't gonna buy this set. What I wanted was the white version. I've got it on pre-order anyway from Louisa Via Roma, um, but this also comes in white. Obviously, I am obsessed with white shirts, so this is a little bit of me. It's this one shoulder kind of ruched shirt. It looks like a deconstructed, reconstructed shirt, and it is just everything that I live for. It is, it's like chic workwear, but with a much more sort of on-trend feel. So I love it, ordered it in white. Didn't order trousers, I've actually ordered a skirt because I thought, you know, there's no point in getting the same outfit in the, in the same color. I've also ordered a jumpsuit. So if that arrives um, anytime soon, I'll do a little bit of an unboxing in this video and show you the pieces that I ordered. But I'll link this in the description box down below because I'm obsessed with it. I think I need to have the trousers just taken in slightly because we've got a little bit of room there, which is never a bad thing. Lots of room for pasta, but I think they could do with a little bit of a cinch in. But other than that, I love them. And then I've teamed them with my new 
Manolo Blahnik Hangisi flats, which I got in the carry blue color, and I love them. In fact, I love them so much that I'm thinking about getting the heeled version as well, just so that I have the option because blue is a color that I love, and actually with gray, it looks so nice. And then obviously my new Dior bag, which you've all been loving a lot. I get so many compliments on this bag. Even when I went to Babington the other day, the girls were like, that is a beautiful bag. But it's got the little bits of blue in it, so um, it goes nicely with the shoes. A nice little pattern addition. But yeah, very happy with my outfit today. And also I've got my blue necklace on from Mappin and Webb, which I love. I think this is the either the Carrington collection or the Beaumont collection. It's one of those two, I can never remember. I don't pay attention to that kind of thing a lot. I just pay attention to what I like. And this is beautiful. And again, something that I get complimented on so, so much. So really happy with that. I've got freshly washed hair as well. I'm not actually going out yet though, so I look like I am, but I'm not. These shoes haven't been outside yet, so I can afford to wear them in the house the moment they've been outside, which will be today. That won't be an option. But as I said, I'm gonna get set up to film a video and get that done and dusted. I'm trying to like really maximize on the time that I've got at home this week to get lots of kind of sit down videos filmed so that sometimes I feel a bit of a pressure to vlog and there's nothing like vlogging when you don't feel like it sometimes it's not as easy to just kind of talk to camera and be like entertaining and engaging and also i want it to always be quite a enjoyable experience when you watch my vlogs this isn't a depressing place on the internet i hope i hope it's quite fun and enjoyable and yeah, so I don't like vlogging under pressure. So trying to get some other content out. Obviously, I think I did a tweet the other day and some people were like, no, don't move all your fashion content to IGTV. That's not what I'm planning on doing. I'm planning on having a little bit more like bite size fashion content on IGTV. So outfits of the day, three ways to wear, three different outfit choices, that kind of bite-sized fashion content, but my hauls and reviews and things like that are still very much gonna be on this channel, so I hope that um, that works well. But I've been loving the response to my IGTV videos and I'm just actually really enjoying it. I didn't think I wanted to move into another area of social media, but so far, loving it. So if you wanna go and check out my IGTV videos and any kind of like styling things, I'll link it in the description box down below because I really enjoy making them. Right, now to get sorted for the day and get cracking on some filming because I've got lots to get on with. Being totally honest with you at the moment about these shoes though, where are my plasters? I do find that the Hangisis from Manolo Blahnik are probably the most uncomfortable. The heels, my toes tend to feel a little bit squished. Oh gosh. And in these, I'm finding that they're rubbing my heels just a little bit. So I'm gonna pop on some plasters so that I, st I don't start getting any blisters. Safety first. <laughs> just setting up to film in my bedroom. I found a really cute little corner in here to film some videos. So we're setting up lighting and I've got my bag of goodies down ha. So um, time to get cracking because I actually have to leave a lot sooner than I thought. I probably have to leave about two o'clock because I have to find a parking space uh, to pick my sister up and um, apparently that's quite hard. So I'm gonna leave it two to be there for 3.30. So I'm just gonna sit in my car and do some work when I get there and wait for her, if I get there early anyway. Um, sorry, the light's changing because Cal is finding my glow. Yes. Still looking, still looking. Yeah. Oh no, you found it, baby girl, you found it. <laughs> <laughs> a um, cough sweet in my mouth. Not that I have a cough, but I just saw it and I was like, hmm. That filming session did not go to plan. It's now really sunny. Sorry about this. This is my cough sweet. It's hanging out there at the moment. Yeah, sometimes when I'm filming, I'm really quite sensitive when I film and I can't like, I can't film loads of videos if all of a sudden I don't feel like myself. So if something annoys me when I'm filming, I'm like, I'm not filming another video. I'm not. I have to feel like in the right frame of mind. So I'm not one of those people that can just like bosh out 10 videos a day. That is not my style. I'm lucky if I film two. 
I filmed one today, but the aim is to get like one video filmed a day this week so that I've got like some content in the bank, which is great. This is so minging, I'm so sorry. Um, but I have to leave now, it's two o'clock. I have to leave to go pick up my sister. I am then going to my parents for dinner. So I've packed a little bag. I need to put my laptop in here so I can work from theirs. I was supposed to have a meeting about some samples and going through and um, like the changes and just kind of all of like a team meeting thing. Haven't been able to have that. So we might have to have that either over the phone or tomorrow. Fingers crossed we get that done. Um, but I'm going to get myself packed and head over to my parents. Well, head over to the school. <gasps> Haven't been to a school in a very long time. Good morning everyone, it is the next day now. I am, I just ended up spending the evening with my sister and my family. I always do that, I'm always like, yeah, I'm gonna vlog when I'm in there, and then when I get there, I'm just like, we just don't stop talking, that I was just like, meh, 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 and then I was tired, and then we came back and we watched the Michael Jackson documentary, and I just, yeah, we just had a very, very chilled evening, which is nice. I actually, having a bit of a, like no, not, I'm, I'm having a no makeup day. I'm having a chilled makeup day because my lashes aren't on. I um, am giving them a little bit of a, a rest. I definitely noticed that my lashes are a little, I don't know whether it's because they were so long and now my eyelashes just look a little bit pathetic, but I do think I've definitely like lost a few lashes in places. So I got sent the L'Oreal Lash Serum. So I've just been kind of, today is just a lash serum day. We're gonna give them a little bit of a, a break and a little bit of a condition and a um, bit of time off because maybe my lashes just are one of those types of lashes that can't really take having false lashes like that so yeah I'm gonna give them some time out but I've seen so many people raving about this L'Oreal lash serum that I um, was very very happy to receive it to my PA box so I'm just applying that to the lash line and I tend to massage it in a little bit so that it doesn't go like crusty or anything and just give it a wee coat of my lashes like so Ta -da. that is that I've got my by Terry CC serum on as usual and I'm popping one of the new dual makeup lip glows that I got in Paris this is shade 204 coral this is their lip glow to the max and this gives it a nice little pop of colour. I love the lip glows. They're probably one of my favourites from the Dior makeup collection. But yeah, just having a bit of a chilled day. I don't know what this is because I thought it was water. But this jumper is clean, so I don't know what that is. But this is my GHD jumper, queen of the sheets, for the launch of the uh, new GHD Glide, which I actually haven't used today because my hair is Kinky McKinkerson. Look at that, all kinky under there. Today, I am going to have a tidy up. I need to decide what room I'm going to film next in my room tours. I feel like I'm a little bit spoiled for choice. I don't know whether to do the, li the no, not the living room. The living room is not finished. I don't know whether to do the kitchen, our bedroom, the dressing room, or my office. Now, my office would be a bit difficult because I'd need to like kick everyone out of there. So I think it's either like my bed, but I want this room to be like the most organized space ever if I'm going to be doing the tour of this room because I'm going to go in all of my cupboards in my tours. Like you'll see everything. So maybe I'll do our bedroom first because that's, or maybe the kitchen. I feel like the kitchen, but there's just, that needs to be organized as well. One hour later. Maybe I'll spend some time organizing today. Yes, I'll clean out like the doors, the doors, the drawers of shit and just get it a little bit more organized in there as well. Oh, I have a plaster paper stuck to my toe. I also um, have an order to make on net porte which I'm gonna show you what I'm buying on there, do a little bit of an online come shopping with me because I have found the most beautiful designer and I know that so many of you are gonna like her stuff as well. Oh my goodness it will arrive tomorrow because i'll get it next day delivery because i'm ordering before the threshold <laughs> so we can have a little bit of a try on tomorrow as well tomorrow is friday gym day and i'm in a good mood today so let's get cracking really clean the kitchen or at least organize it a little bit and do some chapping <laughs> it's always um a bit of a impulse thing in this house but i've started clearing out the first drawer of shit that we have in our kitchen 
and I found two tester pots, one for the colour that we're going to paint the panelling in our toilet downstairs and one that's another colour that I quite like, Molesbeth, both from Farron Bought. We've just bought Downpipe, but looking at it next to the wallpaper that we've got, we've got the Fornicetti Nouvellette wallpaper going up in our toilet and this is from Houseology and this is the colour that we're going to have in there but Ali and I are kind of drawn to Mole's Breath so I am going to whack my paintbrush out and give both of these a quick test on the walls in the cloakroom so I thought it'd probably be a good idea to take you guys with me. Ken, eat your heart out. What did you just say? There's just something about Mole's Beth. Beth? <laughs> Don't start on your channel. I've, I've had enough of my engine. Yeah. There's something about Mole's breath that just reminds me of you. I don't know what it is. You're such an idiot. Uh, I think I'm getting confused between sloth breath. <laughs> sloth breath. <laughs> Shut up. Schleff. <laughs> so we've got Mole's breath first off. And no, I have not protected anything in here. Oh, they left the lights on. Oh, I just turned them on. Oh, right, okay. Where should I do it? Should I do it on this panel here? Do it on the... Um, oh, you're doing it on the woodwork, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. We're going in with the Farrah Ball Mole's Breath first off. I'm actually going to close this window because the wind is so strong. <sighs> Just feels like a really nice cupboard in here. <laughs> right. This paintbrush is definitely too big, but we're doing it anyway. Hold on a minute, I think this might be the colour that it was in here. <laughs> <laughs> Pot number two, which is downpipe, which is the one that Sarah suggested. I definitely think that that's Mole's breath that was in here before, though. But let's give this one a little while. Bosh. Don't need Ken and Graham when you've got Lydia and East Millen. I think, I don't know, I think Graham would approve of your technique. <laughs> Graham would probably lose his hair. What hair? He's got hair. Yeah, I think the wallpaper is going to go really nicely with this colour actually. I wasn't sure. Because you don't want this colour to be too similar, you want it to have some contrast. Good stuff! <laughs> so that is the first drawer of crap cleaned out. I've put all of Ali's tools and things like that into a basket. This is why I buy so many baskets, because everything needs to just be put in something. I've got lots of pens everywhere, so I need something to hold my pens in, in the drawer. But now I've sorted out the rubbish, what needs to go in the bin, and what can stay in this drawer. Amazing! I've opened up a can of worms here. There's a lot that I am now sorting through. That box now contains every manual this house will ever need, because apparently we thought that we needed to keep that in a huge drawer in the kitchen that could be used for kitchen stuff. I'm looking at these guys just in disbelief, basically. But they're telling me I have to have lunch now, so I'm gonna have some lunch. Basically, what's on the menu today for lunch is sweet potato with a side of sweet potato. So, mm. why is that? Yeah, because we never use anything up. <laughs> um, so yes, sweet potato it is. Yay. I'm not going to tell you about what's just happened with the internet. We'll get, we'll get to that later when we know for definite, but I'm keeping a brave face. Thank you. <laughs> I am still organizing, but I've made progress. However, I do have to tell you that now that I've kind of calmed down from it all, at about 1.07 today, our internet miraculously started working again. Uh, we realised that Carrie, who is on EE, hers was absolutely fine working here. So that was a bit weird, so we just thought we'd try the SIM card in our old router 
and it just works. So we're currently back up and running with internet. Two months later, the mast still isn't working, but somehow our internet still works. We have no idea what's going on and we would be overjoyed if we hadn't paid out all of the money that we paid on Monday to have a new system installed. So it's a bit like bittersweet. I mean, my video just uploaded in 15 minutes, which is fabulous, but it's been very frustrating, if I can even say the word frustrating. But yeah, so it, that's the, the thing that's happened today, but I'm not letting it kind of chill my mood. I'm, I'm still working hard and getting the kitchen so much more organized. I'm actually really excited to have some actual organization other than just in the pantry. So I've had huge clear outs of all of the drawers, even just showing you in here. That's all sort of like man stuff and batteries. This is all of our, I beg your pardon. <laughs> this is all, this is our medicine drawer. And then this was full to the brim. Now this is just empty. And even our, that was one of our drawers of shit. This is our second drawer of shit. We've got pens and lighters, straws and birthday party stuff. Uh, freezer bags and baby bags. We have baby bags because we have a septic tank so we can't flush stuff down the toilet. So I keep those close by. Wipes, foils, other stuff, candles and lighters and incense and a torch. Are you inspecting mommy's hard work? Good boy, good boy. <laughs> I wonder if your, if your meow will ever grow up. Yeah, you got such a baby meow. Yes, you rub the Dior box, good boy. It is 20 past 10 at night. I am sat on the floor of the kitchen. I really did open up a can of worms. <laughs> I just, I was a bloody organizational savage today, but it was actually really good. I freed up so much space. Look at this. I have empty drawers in my kitchen, which is unheard of. I think I've got two empty drawers, half an empty shelf, um, just so much space and it's bloody wonderful. Everything just feels so much more organized and I feel like I know where everything else, everything is. No one else will know where anything is, but I do. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a good day, but not actually how I intended it to go. But I've, whenever I do like organizing and cleaning, I'm always like, I, I think so much when I'm doing it. And I realized today how much I have loved this week and I know that so many people are gonna think, oh Lydia, you're so sad. But getting a whole week at home, not going and staying anywhere, not leaving and packing or going out to meetings or anything like that, it's been a joy to be at home and a joy to just be able to film. Like, how many videos have I filmed this week? I filmed one Instagram video, one fashion video, one vlog, and then I've got another video I'm filming tomorrow. And then I'm filming another vlog. That's five videos in a week. I usually, at a push, can maybe do two, but I've done, I would have done five. That's, my mind is blown. And not only that, I've organized, my house is tidy. It's, it's actually the dream. And I'm not like, I'm never ever moaning about my job. I love my job, but it's just like, it's so funny how you realize things like, I used to want to be here, there and everywhere all the time. And it's nothing to do with the house, really. Like as much as I love being at my house, I just love being in the office and I love being productive. And I feel like sometimes that kind of completely falls to last priority when I'm kind of out of the office and I'm here, there and everywhere. I love traveling as well, don't get me wrong, but just not every day of the week, uh, every week of the month sorry and i kind of want to make this a bit more of a like thing where i'm productive at home I made a rod for my own back it's only my own doing and i'm not moaning please don't ever think that i'm moaning i'm just kind of i think i think of like vlogging like this i'm just i'm telling you guys how i feel in my head and what i'm thinking and 
I'm never ever talking like in relation to what anyone else is going through. I'm just thinking in my bubble and selfishly, if anything, I'm thinking completely selfishly. I'm thinking about what I need to get done and I'm thinking about what I need out of life. And obviously I'm not, I think that's probably like, I don't know whether that's like the good thing about my channel is that I'm so comfortable with talking to you guys that it's almost bad because I talk, I literally talk to you about what's in my head and what I'm talking, what I'm thinking. And sometimes you take that as that that's like my belief in everything. Like when I say silly things like, oh, it was the hardest day ever or something like that. Obviously it's the hardest day ever in Lydia land. And in Lydia land, some days are hard, but it's not the hardest day ever. But it's just because it's, that's me in that moment in my life and what's going on in my life not thinking about the big picture at all. It's like my little bubble that's that big. I just wish that I could disclaim that on everything that I say, but obviously you can't on YouTube because I I learned something very valuable the last um, sort of six months. And it's why I'm not so hard on myself anymore. And it's why I don't have such a problem with the comments. I used to really think that the comments that were written on my videos defined who I am as a person and that meant that if people were saying that about me it must be true and if I did something wrong or I said something and it was taken the wrong way I used to think that that was it like that was how it was and I learned that as long as my intentions were good and everything that I was intending to come from that situation was harmless and good and I was like able to stand by myself and think, you know, you're a really nice person, Lydia. That was all that mattered. And so that's why I'm a lot more chilled, but I just, I can hear links. Linky! Linky! Yeah, anyway, I'm just having a little random chat with you whilst I'm sat on the floor like this. I've just kind of collapsed onto the floor because there's just, I've had a long day in Lydia land doing the stuff that is hard in Lydia land, <laughs> but feeling productive. Uh, I did also on my lunch break <laughs> place an order with net a that's arriving tomorrow from two brands that I really love at the moment. One is Alex NYC, I think that's it, or is it, is it just Alex? Hello? Hello? as well. Let's go let him in. I've missed you. <laughs> two peas in a pod, you two. Oh. You love your daddy. <laughs> your little fluff butt. <laughs> your fluffy bottom. You need to smell a poo. Ah. Just cleaned there. Oh dear. Are you chasing your daddy? Oh, you took a shortcut. <laughs> What's this? Oh, good morning, everyone. <laughs> it's a very... I have to hide something, hold on. <laughs> It's a very sunny morning today, but I don't think it's supposed to last. I think it's supposed to like rain shortly. I've just applied a layer of fake tan because obviously yesterday I had a no makeup day to give my eyelashes a wee bit of a break. Today, however, well, this is the start of a very kind of busy weekend. So that will be in next week's vlog. No, the next vlog in my next video. Oh my God. It will all be in my next video. Basically just family stuff. We've got Ali's nieces coming to stay today, all three of them, and they are just adorable. So um, that will all be in Thursday's vlog and I'll tell you a little bit about that then. But today I'm kind of just finishing off this vlog. I've got to sort out one of the rooms so that we can start filming B-roll for that room. I've got my net delivery coming as well. It's supposed to be between like 12 and two. 
So that is, that's basically what's happening today. It's not too exciting, but I thought I'd do a bit of a try on with you for the net -a stuff because the designer that I've ordered a load of stuff from is so amazing. And I'm hoping that it's gonna be as amazing on me as it was when I found it on the website. I am doing a full face and makeup because we are going out tonight as well. Literally, we are out every day of the weekend. So tonight, it's a friend's engagement party. Obviously tomorrow, well tonight, um, Ali's brother and his niece has arrived and his, his partner. Then we've got Ali's nan's 90th birthday on Saturday. And then it, it's also Ali's stepmom's birthday on the Saturday, but she's celebrating on the Sunday. And then it's also Ali's best friend's birthday, which we're then going out for drinks on the Sunday with them and their little girl. So yeah, it's a busy one. So it's all kind of go here today, which is good. I'm feeling ready for it. I'm just not looking ready for it. So I'm going to get my makeup on and hopefully do my hair and make myself look a little bit more respectable than I did yesterday, basically. And I'm gonna probably catch up on some YouTube video, but and I'm, I can't get my words out this morning. I've got so much to tell. No, I don't even have that much to tell you. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm going to catch up on YouTube videos, but also I need to wash my dressing gown because it's covered in fake tan. So I'm gonna crack on and do that. And uh... <laughs> and that is the plan for the day, basically. And there's my glow right there. Oh, I love the By Terry CC serum. It is so good. Anyway, catch you in a bit. <laughs> Don't you miss that there. I am wearing the new L'Oreal Paris. What are they called? I am wearing the new L'Oreal Paris. Rouge Signature Matte Lip Ink in shade I Am Power. I recently shot the campaign for this and this uh, shade, I Am Power, is a dupe for my beloved by Terry, which is on the floor. Look at that, a proper dupe. So I'm popping it on today. Because the texture is slightly different, that's more of a liquid lipstick, so the shade is a dupe. Et voila, a nice peachy nude, which is always my favorite. I didn't actually wear this shade in the campaign shoot. I tried something a little bit different and loved it, but for everyday wear, it's a little peachy nude, cute. <laughs> that was not a fart as well, that was my chair. <laughs> right, makeup is done. In fact, I need one more layer of mascara on this eye. My poor little lashes. I think they're just a little bit too sensitive for eyelash extensions. I hope they recover. Poor little things. <sighs> I had to show you these earrings that just arrived. <laughs> these are adorable. Probably the biggest earrings I think I've ever worn and I don't know if my earlobes can take them. They're actually clip-on as well so I've got the tiniest little earlobes, I have a feeling they might fall off. And I have just put them over my earrings for now. But these just arrived, they are from Mercedes Salzar and it's for the launch of the new Erin Agia Blossom fragrance. This is absolutely gorgeous, this is their spring fragrance. Yes, so it's inspired by blue seas, cool breezes and pure light. Very much makes me think of like my time in Santorini, which obviously the Agia Blossom kind of hints at that as well. But these earrings are part of a little collaboration. I love the collaborations that Erin does. They are always so well thought out and these earrings. I can just imagine these like with sandals on a beach and a floaty like colourful dress oh, and a like cute wicker basket. In fact with my Prada bag these will look amazing. Oh, I just hope they stay on my ears. <laughs> Looking a little bit like a mad scientist with my alfalfa sprouts. Ali is washing the cars outside and I now have to have the meeting that I was supposed to have yesterday, there's Cal in the background, Hi. <laughs> with Carrie downstairs um, about 
stuff that we have planned for later on in the year. Yes, so this is when we get to make full use of the little meeting area for us to go through some uh, samples that have been sent over by email. I also bought myself some snacks that you can't actually see. There. There's my snack and a drink. And yeah, we've been waiting to do this for a little while now. So we're gonna crack on and go through the exciting stuff, I think. You ready? I'm ready, go team. Carrie has a hangover. She went, she went and had fun with, without me last night and I was like, all oh, right, okay then. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, my alfalfa sprouts today are interesting. Where should we put the camera so that we can see? Or maybe the orchid will be in the way. Pardon the state of my hair, but Carrie has just come downstairs and shown me the cutest thing ever. I'm just about to sort out my dressing room. Is, is, is that comfortable for you, mate? He is in my underwear drawer. Having a bath. What are you doing in there? What are you doing? Oh, baby, you're so sweet. It is delivery day. And as I mentioned, I did have a net -a porte delivery arrive. I also had a Louise Via Roma one arrive, but that's for some other content. So I'm going to put that to one side and we're going to go through the net -a porte one. <sighs> Spring wardrobe is in full swing. So I'm going to hide this one out of the way because it'll just be too tempting otherwise. Look here. I actually opted for the first time for net -a minimal packaging, as amazing as the black boxes are. I've had my fair share of black boxes and I just, I don't need them in my life anymore. Minimal packaging is something I'm trying to stick to a little bit more. So yeah, no more black boxes, for the time being anyway. But I just love that it's an option. Like if you want to send someone a gift and you want it to be a little bit of an experience, then you can do the boxes, but I obviously don't need the experience at all. In fact, in our house we have enough packaging coming in that I don't really need to be adding to it. And you can probably hear Ali mowing the lawn outside. He's been waiting for this day for months and he's out there giving the lawn a good mow. Now, you might know that I work with net porte and have worked with them on quite a few campaigns. I'm a huge fan, I shop there. I do have a little bit of press discount which I have applied to uh, these items, but other than that, I'm so excited. So, first up. Ooh, this is the first item I saw from Anna Mason and I knew I would wear this so much. Oh, look. Look at the sleeves. Oh my God, the fabric in person is even more beautiful. It's got this cinched in waist. And this just with jeans and heels. Oh my God, it's actually amazing. And I love the collar. It's got this really structured collar. Oh, it is beautiful. This brand, oh my God, this brand. I'm in love. <gasps> Where should we put it so that it doesn't get ruined? I'm so annoyed that I can't like hang stuff over my doors because this, the hangers scratch the paint because it's such rubbish paint. And I put it on here. Let's just balance that there. Um, I keep these for when I have to travel for events. So I have a couple of them. I don't keep all of them. A lot of Ali's friends get them for their work suits from me, but I only keep a couple. In this one, oh, so this is the dress of all dresses from Anna Mason as well. Oh my God, it's beautiful. It looks like a ginger jar. I love it. It's this beautiful, intricate floral fabric. Oh my God, it's just beautiful. They had it in red with a slightly shorter sleeve, but Blue is my color at the moment, so I knew I had to give this one a try as well. Uh, what does it say on it? This is inherently British, our distinct silhouette flatters and frames. Using classically beautiful and mostly British fabrics, each animation piece is lovingly made in Europe using traditional skills and techniques. Oh, I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. So beautiful. So that's the dress. Pop that up there. 
this is the final piece that I ordered from Anna Mason and this made me think of Erin. This just reminded me of all of like the Erin box prints and it, I feel like it just ties in really nicely with their new fragrance. They've got the new Ajea Blossom fragrance that I told you about earlier. This just made me think of that and I love it. It's just a top with super structured sleeves and this gorgeous kind of floral fabric. It's just beautiful. I'm so sorry if you can hear the what's it called, the lawnmower beeping, but Ali can't hear because he's got his ear mufflers on, so he can't hear that the actual tub of grass is full. Uh, but that's the other item from Anna Mason that I've got in there. We fold this up. I'm gonna try these on, by the way, because I can't, like, not. And then I ordered two items from a brand that I love as well. It's a brand called Alex, and they mainly do, like, bodysuit basics. It's also raining now. All of the noise is happening. But basically I've got a cami, which I wear so much with jeans that I wanted to try some of their other items. So I picked up a white vest up. I thought these would be really, really handy for the coming months, just for all of the sort of body con vibes, but tucked into like jean shorts and things like that. I just thought this would be super useful. And it, I'm actually really presently surprised to see that it is quite thick as well. So no see-throughness, but it's just such a great brand. They are expensive for what they are, but they fit so nicely. And I feel with these kinds of things, that's what it's all about. It's all about the fit. So we'll try that on. I'm not sure. I hope it's going to be okay over my bust, but really happy with that one. And finally, we also got a black one. How do I get into here? Interesting. It's like double that. I believe. Yes, I've also got myself more of like a racer vest one in black. And I think one of the holes is slightly bigger, so it's a little bit asymmetrical. Uh, this is also ribbed, but this with jeans as well will look super cute. And this will be more of like a going outy kind of one as well. But loved it. So those are two brands on Nessa Porte that if you haven't heard of before, then definitely check them out because I am just in love with them. I haven't even tried the other one on yet, but the fabrics themselves I'm just obsessed with. And Alex is a brand I just need to get more of because it's just so good, so good. I'm so happy to have minimal packaging as well. This is great, love it. Right, so I'm gonna pop those on and show you what they look like uh, before I finish up on this video. Productive day, isn't it Winky? Okay, I've just popped it on and it's everything I hoped it would be. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at this color. This is like my color. I love it, I love it. And then this beautiful pop of red is just perfect. The fabric is stunning beautiful fabric weight. The collar is totally standing to attention, which I love. There's nothing worse than like one of these collars that just flaps down. It is perfection. I am in love. This silhouette, I would love it in other styles as well. It's stunning. <gasps> Even with like my little Dior bag and then with the blue shoes, it's just, oh, looks so perfect. I might have to wear this tomorrow for Ali's Nan's 90th instead. We'll see, we have options, we have options. <laughs> I'd show you it a little bit further back as well so you can see it here but oh the dream the dream I can't wait to style this because this will look so nice with like denim pencil skirts as well oh perfect I'm so happy oh the phone is going I'm literally feeling myself in this <laughs> I don't want to take it off I love it look at the back the back, the back, the back. <laughs> Please ignore the label on the front. This is obviously the first time I'm trying this on, so I haven't cut the labels off yet because I'm still deciding if I want to keep them. But this is another one of the tops. This is more of a day wear top. And again, so happy with the, the sleeves and the collar and then the cinched in waist. It's like it was made for me. Oh, it's beautiful. I am so, so in love with this brand. I will of course link these items in the description box down below if you um, want to shop them. But wowzers, they are so gorgeous. <sighs> Sorry guys, I'm like just having a moment. I'll just show you the back as well. So you can see, just ignore, ignore my labels. <laughs> but that's the back, so it's still got the gorgeous peplum around the waist and it's a really nice lightweight fabric, this one, so it'll be a lot cooler in the summer. But so cute. This the 
color. Oh my God, love, 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 love. The dress is gorgeous too. Oh wow, so beautiful. I was hoping I wasn't gonna like all of it, but now I just want to order more. This is terrible. And I love that this is a wrap dress that actually like is still quite figure shaping. So it definitely has this tightness around the hip area that's super flattering and just these ruffles. I mean, it needs a little bit of a steam because it's just come out of the box. But again, the nice rigid collar, the big statement sleeves, the ruffles. Oh my God, that was my knee clicking then. Ow. <laughs> it even goes with my necklace. I am falling in love with blue at the moment and I just, yeah, I can't believe it. Love it. <laughs> because, <laughs> because of the type of top that this is, uh, it pulled all my hair out, so I look like a crazy scientist. But I love the back of this so much. I love that it's like a little bit sort of unsymmetrical. I just love that it has all of this like back showing and fits super nicely, like really nice and cinched in and happy with this. Nice cute little alternative basic. Gives it something a little bit interesting and very soft and comfortable. Great quality, I love it. I'm not gonna try the white one on because I'm worried about the fabric type because I have a little bit of fake tan on today. I've got my darker fake tan because I've got so many events, like family events this weekend. So I don't wanna get anything on that one particularly. It's got that kind of material that will just soak anything up. So I'm just gonna not do that one today, but maybe another day. But you've seen the most of it and I'll link you to all of the Alex bodysuits on Net-a-Porter because they're so good. I love them. Yay! <laughs> Such a twat. So yeah, me and my alfalfa sprouts and the bits of hair that don't fit in my hair bubble anymore are going to leave this video here because I think I've chatted quite a lot in this one and I know we haven't really been anywhere but um, it's just been one of those weeks where I get to stay at home and I'm very happy about it and you already know that so I'm not going to go back into it. But I will see you in my next video which is another vlog so I will see you back here on Thursday for that. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Bye.